Bienvenidos a la rueda de prensa de Dick Reder, previa al primer partido de Liga en 2024 en Castalia, jornada 19, última de la, de la primera vuelta entre el Club de Bolívar y el Atlético <coughs> Club de Fútbol. Arrancaremos como siempre con las preguntas de la sala, eh, identificaros por favor con nombre y medio y cuando queráis. Omid, primera pregunta. Eh, buenos días, eh, Dick. Eh, ¿Cómo ha sido la semana de vuelta a la realidad liguera después de la aventura bonita en la Copa del Rey y qué esperas del partido contra el Autofinas? Uh, yeah, the week was good. Um, I think we recovered well. Uh, it was of course a heavy game, 120 minutos on a high level. Um, but we came uh, good out of it. Uh, the only thing is that um, yeah, Calavera is out, uh, and yeah, I think we had a good week. So we are really hopeful for tomorrow, and uh, we are looking forward to it. Mm. Um, yeah, at the moment, uh, um, Julio trained today full, so when everything is going right, the, his reaction for when he, co when he wakes up tomorrow morning, uh, I think he's in the squad, so that we are happy, but we are not going to start with him, uh, because he just comes back from injury. Um, Christian is still out, uh, he was sick for a few weeks, so it takes a longer time to get him back fit uh, and Iago, uh, um, yeah of course uh, the other guys did good on midfield but Iago also is doing good on midfield so he can play there easily and for us uh, yeah he's, uh, he's good there so um, for tomorrow we also think that uh, he's going to play there. Sería importante no acabar la primera vuelta como líderes, eh, una etapa ya bastante avanzada de la competición. No sé qué importancia le dais a la clasificación ahora mismo, a esas alturas de campeonato. Eh, todavía falta mucho, pero, pero no sé qué grado de importancia, si es ya cada vez mayor eh, la posición que ocupáis en la tabla y lo que hagan los rivales. Um, sí, yeah, para mí es just important to win the game and to, uh to be in first place. Um, uh, yeah, of course we finished the first leg, but for me it was more the winter for me, the first leg, and now we just go on till the summer. Um, yeah, of course we want to win the game and we want to stay in the first place. Uh, and hopefully we can do that tomorrow. Una más, Enrique, y pasamos a la tercera liga. Dolo Escobar, el entrenador de Algeciras, dijo ayer que tenían que ser valientes um yeah they do a little they do a, a few things a little bit different than other teams um this is also what we saw so we also expect that they do those things uh, to us uh, and I also expect sometimes they do some other things because everybody knows a little bit now how we play. Uh, what our strengths are, what our weaknesses are, and we just need to cope with that. Uh, but that also counts for uh, for them. Uh, so I think, uh, yeah, it's gonna again, <laughs> it's not gonna be an easy game uh, because they do some things a little bit different, and we also have to uh, give our best side of it to beat them. Hola, eh, buenos días. Eh, yo quería, bueno, si mañana, si mañana pasa lo que todos esperemos que pase. Eh, Castellón cerraría efectivamente la primera vuelta con 46 puntos, que es una auténtica barbaridad. Es probable que también gane su partido el Ibiza, por lo cual no le serviría para estar en solitario en esa posición. Entonces, mi pregunta para Eric es, eh, ¿dónde está ese margen de mejora pensando en la segunda vuelta? ¿Qué tiene que mejorar si es que tiene que mejorar en algunas facetas su equipo para, para acabar como primero? Gracias. Like, yeah, we still have to improve every day in a lot of the aspects in uh, how we want to play. Uh, eh, Yeah, uh, that's a lot of things are maybe like more private for the team. Uh, but in the end of the day, if you look at the 43 points, what we have now, uh, yeah, of course you can do better, but also you have to be satisfied with sometimes with things, what is going on. So, yeah, of course you want to have maybe more points, but on the other side, you also have to be realistic in this, uh, in this competition. Um, so, 
yeah, maybe if you look back on the last uh, game away, uh, we had to be more clinical in the first half. And maybe there you can already end maybe the game when you score more goals. Because I think we played there one of the best first halves uh, in, in this league. Vale, que tal los cascos. Vale, quería preguntarle a Dick eh, si le parece curioso, qué opina, ¿no? De que eh, nuestro rival el Ibiza va a jugar contra el Real Madrid Castilla y precisamente en esta jornada el Real Madrid Castilla va a contar con, creo que son cuatro o cinco jugadores menos de los importantes porque están en Arabia para jugar con el primer equipo. Si eso en otras ligas, no sé en Holanda, existe, eh, si hay filiales en esa eh, categoría donde el año pasado, por ejemplo, en segunda división estaba el Suele, y, y si le molesta. Uh, yeah, it happens in Holland also, um, because uh, a lot of times in Holland you play Friday, Saturday or Sunday or even on Monday. So sometimes it's maybe better to play on a Friday against, uh, we say young, young Ajax or young PSV or young AZ in the second league, uh, because then maybe they don't uh, give the strongest players uh, on the Friday to the, to the, to the team. Uh, sometimes when you play them on Monday, they put the strongest team in. Um, you know, I'm fine with it. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, the the countries, the leagues, they have a vision about it to play with those teams in the in uh, in the highest league to develop maybe the players, the the teams, uh, the football. So there is a lot more in behind than only say now we are maybe a little bit unlucky. On the other side, uh, Madrid also beat Cordoba, and I think uh, three of them, they also didn't play. So, uh, for me, it doesn't say really a, a lot. Uh, I'm fine with it. We just need to focus on ourselves. Sí, yo quería preguntarte a Dick eh, por un hecho curioso, no quería preguntarle por Traoré, porque hizo un partidazo en la Copa contra el Oviedo, nos sorprendió a muchos que no lo habíamos visto y desde entonces prácticamente no ha vuelto a jugar. Quería saber un poco cuál es su situación, eh, si se plantea él a lo mejor alguna salida o no, o por qué no juega básicamente. No, he's not leaving the squad. Um, he... I said he played a good game, but there were also a lot of things what can improve with him, but also with other players. So, uh, in the end of the day, we also look at the training sessions, we look at everything, we look at other players. So, yeah, if I make a choice for another one, it's not against Traoré, or it's just that I choose for another player. Um, he's developing, he needs uh, just also like some other young kids or players who come from abroad, sometimes they need a little bit more time. So, um, he's doing fine, uh, he will make some minutes, so uh, I'm not scared for that. Sí. Eh, yo, bueno, relacionado con lo que estaba preguntando ahora mismo, eh, eh, prácticamente más del 80% de los goles que se han marcado los han putinado en dos futbolistas, Medullán y, y, y De Miguel, y bueno, el resto la verdad es que llevan poquitos goles. Eh, ¿Cómo valora esto? Es decir, ¿le preocupa o no le preocupa? ¿Deberían hacer más goles, por ejemplo, los jugadores de segunda línea, los centrocampistas que tienen habitualmente más llegada en el equipo? Um, no, I'm, I'm not really worried about it. Um, um... Last year in Zwolle we had more players who could score a goal or who scored a goal. Um, in the end of the day, uh, this is what you have in the squad or not. Uh, uh, Harris even scored more goals than last year uh, at the moment. Um, but uh, on the other side, for me, it's more about the opportunities, what we have and what we get. Uh, some players, they know they need to score maybe more goals. Uh, on the other side, uh, maybe you can also look at the squad and maybe you can add some goals. but. Uh, in the end of the day, I believe more in the philosophy, in to create the goals, uh, in to create the chances, and that we can make goals. Uh, and there we have to be like critical. What I already said, like in uh, San Lucano, we have to score there more goals in the first half to make it yourself easier, and then you don't have maybe so much problems in the second half. Um, yeah, uh, it, it, it is what it is at the moment. Uh, I also think that uh, Damien didn't score last year so many goals till now. So, yeah, uh, I also think that other players can maybe score more goals. But also that, uh, to come back on the, on the Trauer rating, uh, the players have to develop also in that. 
Um, I think they already are really used to the style of play, so they already come more in opportunities to score goals and to get chances. Um, so that's uh, for me already uh, a big plus.